Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley. We have just mowed and windrowed a lot of the uh, the grass over here, field 11. And I believe that we have a couple of fields to harvest right there. So lots going on right now. Also want to tether some of this. We get some some hay. So I'm thinking, let's take this up here and put the wind drawer away. Grab the tether, which should be up in this area, and tether probably two rows. Now eh, one row would be enough for now of this. I have a feeling this will be a repeated process. Each row, each time, if we grab one row of. Uh, of hay we should be fine and spread it out and let it dry while we we're working on the other two fields seems like the right thing to do all right this guy goes into this one right there now there no oh that is gonna take that nice and slow Tight little window. That's going to hit, isn't it? No, I think we're fine. Boy, I make it? Yeah, that is kind of a downward slope there, but luckily these things put on the parking brake as soon as you uh, let go of them. Alright, tether right over here. the bushes. There we go. Alright. X it is V B. There we go. So we'll spread this out, it'll be ready for us when we get back. Now that I've condensed these rows, I wonder how many bales are roughly in each one. I mean, it'd be nice to, it would be nice to bring a whole load of, of uh, hay to the cow farm, a whole uh, trailer full. I wonder if we can get eight out of that or not. We got six out of the two ends last time. So that lasts, well, from about here to the end. All the way down all those rows. Is that equal to one of these? Huh. All right, this time let's go ahead and do two of these. And if we get plenty of extra, then next time we won't do any hay. We'll just do grass out of here. But let's make sure we've got enough for one solid uh, stack over there at the, at the cow farm. And we have stolen some out of the sheep too, so any excess can go in there. Otherwise, we'll get the harvester going on one of the fields and set that one to a hired hand and grab the trailer with this guy and then follow that up with a plow. Hmm... Klaus had made a comment long ago that made a lot of sense, but it was after I already bought the, the big plow. I figured I would be running the big plow once in a while, but it's hard to make a hired hand turn the big one around because it articulates in the middle, whereas the smaller plow, you can handle it just fine. Might be worth picking up a plow so that we can turn them loose with that. This guy, uh, BVX, and... Oops, back him right into here. Otherwise, we'll let this stuff kind of sit out in the sun and dry, and, and it'll be fine. Let's see. Right there. Boy, he takes off fast. All right, let's head back to the farm. No. So the point is, let's go pick up another plow that I'm confident that a hired hand can handle because everything is at the point of needing plowing now. 
Better get inside the cab before I kill somebody. There we go. It's been a while since I've looked at plows. It seems like it was like the third one in the list is what I'm picturing as being the right one. Let's see what we've got. Cultivators, plows. Okay. That's what I'm picturing. It seems like we started with this, and that was a tiny little thing of two meters wide, two meters wide, three meters wide. Now, we picked up this guy, 4.9 meters wide, and it's just these two. Okay. But this one this one rides on wheels and so when if they try to back up they don't back up well with a trailer this guy stays in the air let's go ahead and do that what is he 22,000 yep that's gonna hurt but let's do that and buy okay this is where weight in the front might be advantageous because it won't be on this tractor. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Was there a... Something I keep forgetting to uh, keep track of. This guy right here needs 180 horsepower. Ah. Which means he's going to need the big tractor. The cases are 145s. Okay. So that rides on this tractor, which means we'll be uh, using a case to haul the trailer, the tippers. Right now, there's no way to, let's see, X rotates it like that, but doesn't make it any better. Well, that's fancy. <laughs> oh, there is a transport mode. Okay, good. Wasn't sure about that. This one most likely is going to need the, the flashers to get his home without getting a ticket by running a stop sign. <laughs> so I may as well just leave this on this tractor. And for that matter, I guess it doesn't really matter which end we start. Um, though we will start with this field, because that one over there is going to need to be bailed. And all the equipment's out over there. So we'll just start with this one. So for now, I guess we'll just kind of park this down and over here. Okay, that should get plenty of room be able to turn the harvester around. All right, let's get the harvester going. So that was soy. And that was barley, if I remember correctly. Full of gas. And X unfolds it. Not a lot to do in this one. Just opens up a door. Any advantages to where we start? I don't think so. Okay. Cruise control will just max it out. We'll see what uh, they're willing to drive at. And I guess that is it. Although, let's take it a little bit closer to the edge. Just to make sure that we miss nothing on this edge. All right. Hire that one out. Jump out of there. And let's go turn the flashers off on the Massey Ferguson here. There we go. And really, the next step is plow. And that's a much wider width 
than this. I think he can go ahead and get started. We'll see if I'm wrong. Now, what is the best route to go? That seems like it to me. And actually, that is not a very wide width. So I'm going to let him come all the way back here and, and, and make another pass going up before I do that. Okay, i just go a little, bit, a little further. Okay. Well, let's grab somebody else. Uh, cultivator. Now the cultivator is the big one. Do we still have the small cultivator? We took back the small plow. But we did not take back the small cultivator. Okay. And the other case is way over there at the cattle. Hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to give up tractors when uh, until you can afford to buy new ones. Because I could easily, between the two fields, have five or six tractors running simultaneously right now. Yeah, that's tough. Well, we know this guy can haul, can haul the cultivator. I guess we'll use the small one, because the big one is going to be used in the plow, and there's no way to get around that. Is he going to have enough room there? I think so. Now, can the blue one handle the trailers? I mean, it can. It's just going to go real slow uphill. did handle it. Okay. Let's see. You're going to be next in line. Right there. Yeah, I don't know if you should lead this way or lead with it aimed out this way. It doesn't give you the choice. That's interesting. Okay, I guess if the choice is taken away from me then there's no uh, there's no issue. Now does he... he's not. Well, let's stop. Let's come over one little bit. Make sure we're actually hitting this edge. Right in there. And because this has already been plowed, he may... Nope. Nope. We did not hit the edge, so we're just right. Okay. So that's done. Hop out of there. I'm hesitant. Let's find out if we can... Well, how wide is this? Probably very similar. All right, we'll do the same pattern. But we're going to have to get uh, that harvester emptied. So let me go do that first. Though the soy doesn't uh, fill up very quickly. Now, New Holland, you are over here, right? Yeah. Let's grab a tipper. See if we can see the harvester from here. Okay, no beacons flashing. Good. Yeah, the soy doesn't fill very quickly. So, even though we should be at 100% on our yield, it's still going to take a while. We should have time to do all this. I'm curious, what I don't know is how fast the harvester drives compared to how fast the plow drives. So, that might be a conflict soon. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like he's already back faster. Yeah, we're going to have to shut the plow down for a while. Get a little more space between them. They're fine right now, but they're going to catch up to each other here pretty quick. Let's 
let him get started. See, he does rotate. It wouldn't rotate for me. Hmm. Um, I'll have to go back and clean up all those ends. Let's just leave him here. And I'm going to want to clean those up before I set him loose. Oh, the jigsaw puzzle. Okay, well, let's get this guy dumped. And this is the side we want to be on, so let's race over there. <laughs> as much racing as this little tractor can do. <laughs> ah, he's nearing the end. If I could just kind of get in his way. No, not going to make it. So close. Ah, he hit. Okay. We have a mess to clean up. Uh, higher. Let's stop. Okay, drive backward. Let's just dump it ourselves. Maybe? Maybe not. And he was only about a third full. He may be able to finish the rest of the field without a dumping. Okay. In that case, we can leave this guy out over here. Don't know what end we'll need him. Well, I know we'll be down that end most likely to run to the tractor, so we'll park it down at this end. So what do we do about the plowing? And how do we keep them from leaving those little mist spots? And ultimately, in the end, it's not that big of an issue. It just bugs me. That's all. <laughs> the... Right there. So did I start in the wrong direction is what I'm wondering. So, it was the other way when it started. It came back and he turned it to this way. Hmm. Well, let's continue him the way that he was. Let's assume that the hired hand corrected my mistake if there is a mistake. But with that... Let's let him get to the end over there. And then we'll start him up. Yeah. And hopefully that will buy enough time to keep this all separated. And then we could get this guy going. Yeah, I guess so. If there's any spots, I can just go through after the episode and clean it up. We can keep the episode going. Alright. In fact, let's just, let's just say that, that we're there. And you're even? Yeah. Alright, let's get this guy going behind him. And then we will be tractorless. Then we may just bring the other case back over. It's probably the, the best route to go. If I could just go a little further out. Right there. Okay. Alright, so sewing is next, and that's either with the little guy or the big guy. This will be the little guy with the other case. Okay, let's tab over to him. Boy, where'd he go? Here he is. And cue that one. Uh, 
forklift. Probably leave it here. About like so. Now where is here? Oops, I thought I was disconnected. I guess I was not. Okay. Um... Right there. Oh, I see. That's a big sliding door, isn't it? That's why the loading zone is up against that. I see. I was looking to shove the cows through that gate right there. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's back this up so this can be seen. And... Right one? Yeah. Q... Q didn't work. Why? You want to be lower? Now you're happier. Okay. That didn't work. Neither did that. <laughs> Alright. Let's run through here, do a little bit of compacting. And... I'll meet you over there at the farm. Right, let's see how well this well-oiled machine is working. So we missed a spot there. We cultivated probably over another spot. The cultivator is catching up. So it's going to have to be delayed now. in next. Uh, nope, we're going for that guy in the back. Because this guy did the uh, sugar beets. Okay. Uh, refill? Yep. Alright. Oops. The other one. And let's go ahead and grab some more fertilizer while we're at it. it again. There we go. Now, what are we doing? First of all, what a mess there. It is cultivated, plowed, harvested, and ready to harvest all in the same field right there. That's kind of interesting. But, um, and we can see the machines as they're running. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go to our storage, essentially. Canola is on its way up. Barley is on its way up. I think each round between one of the three fields needs to be one of these two to make sure we've always got straw being produced. The other two can be whatever else we want to put in. Corn, I would love to get to one of these days. The smallest one is 15. That's where the barley is now. And that's plenty straw. So that can always, that'll be the field that's always one of these two. So I think we're in here right now. Sunflower we can't deal with, so really it's these two at the moment. And that's at 1,500 now. Let's go another round of soy right in behind this soy that we're taking out. Although that price may not be there then. By then it may have already dropped. Um, let's go for it anyway. We're going to do soy. Okay, and 
I just forget which one it is. Is it Y? Yeah. That was soy there. Right there. Alright, let's get this planting. Yeah, I don't think we've really got the luxury to keep this guy at the cow farm yet, not until we've had a chance to buy some more tractors. Alright, so, hmm, it's time to get this guy up and going again. don't think we can get him going yet. Let's go... Hmm. Let's see. Well, yeah. He's going to get to the end there. We're not going to be able to dump him until he comes all the way back down. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll just do a little, uh, a little snip and cut. When he gets down, we'll get going again. Kind of fun just to sit here and watch all the different tractors doing their job. Get the sower going too. We'll have uh, five vehicles running in this this field at the same time. Let's get him dumped, and then we will do just that. That's right. I got to be out here anyway, just to keep the noise of the harvester out of the, the video. I think I'll skip the cruise control. We'll just, just do my best to maintain. That is harder than it looks. I'm trying to juggle side to side and forward and back and yeah, that is not a lot of soy. Meaning it is worth doing one more round just to get uh, just to get a full trailer, really. So we will need to dump him again. Uh, before he's he's done. That should be Pretty, uh, pretty much a certainty. So let's just set this guy down over here. Get the sower going. And I may have to stop the plow for a moment. But we'll see. And set for soy. Higher. Eject. And off this one goes. And we're just going to have little stubs of not plowed areas. I think that's... That's just going to have to be good enough. I'd prefer, if I was doing it myself, it'd be, uh, it'd be, you know, perfect. But I have to uh, acknowledge that in real life it is not perfect. So what's there for me to do? I'll tell you what I could do. Let's commandeer this guy. Okay. means the rows aren't going to be perfectly straight anymore, but that's fine. I'll get through the turns much faster than the hired hand, which should keep me ahead of that guy, I'm hoping. He must be going a little bit more than six miles an hour.
Otherwise, everything's working correctly, right? Yeah, nobody is conflicting. I like the canola when it's uh, at this stage of growth. I like all the, the big yellow field there. One of the nicest looking crops. That and the sunflowers. That is really annoying that uh, the plows do that. They don't drive it a little bit further to finish off the row. A little frustrating. I wish that the plows were more of a V shape. Or, you know, something a little closer to the cultivator. Like rectangle. Okay, even though the plow is faster than me, I've been able to stay just far enough ahead of them to get this thing finished. What else is doing their job? And I'll go ahead and dump the harvester and call this episode done. Let's see. That one, that one, there. Oh. And I'll let these guys finish up off camera and we'll start this field next time. I guess the best plan. There we go, and not even close to a, uh, a tipper load. Hmm. But with that, I think we're going to call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler, and and uh, hit the subscribe and like if you would, and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.